What's up? Welcome to this pick a card love reading. I'm going to get very, very into it by just singing. All I am is a man. And uh, what's that song? All I am is a man in California with my toes in the sand. Hmm. Okay, so this is a love reading. <laughs> Uh, this is a pick a card love reading. The type of love you're receiving from the like pile. <laughs> so you'll like pick a card, right? And then it's uh, whatever love that you are receiving from the card. I'm getting like just to imagine someone that you desire to be with, like your special person um, to imagine that. If not, if you don't want like a special person, platonic love sort of thing. Um, so whatever kind of love that you need actually in the moment more than anything. And it's going to be up to you. All right. You are the decision maker in this. So yeah, the piles will, I, I have some random items. Pile one is going to be this uh, lighter. It's a tiger. With some sunglasses and there is um looks like rainbow like a rainbow selection on the tiger and it's roaring roaring i can't really say roaring blah, blah, blah. okay ours are blah, ours are hard <laughs> um anyone else who uses the English language and you say ours are they hard for you sometimes it's hard for me like yeah that word roaring just my mouth feels weird anyway pile two you have this really cool green uh pen it's a jelly roll pen made in Japan um it is made also uh sakura Sakura, Sakura, Sakura. Uh, hashtag number three eight nine two five is the number. I guess the like number in the range is four thirty. So that's cool. This is what it is. Okay, pile two, pile three. We're going with another pen. We have now a white and gold and silver pen. The gold and silver are dots. How cool. And it is a pilot. G207. Uh, one second. Pile three. This is pile three, but there's a cat calling. Oh, one second. Lucy, I'm done here. Lucy. Okay, she might come. We might have a guest on the show. Um, and it is black for the, like, when it comes out, it's black. Okay. I'm gonna cut that out. Yeah. Okay. So, now we have alcohol prep pads for... <laughs> so random. <laughs> Sorry, that's so random, but hilarious. Um, alcohol prep pads for the fourth pile <clears throat> let's begin so um and if you do want to watch any of the other piles feel free if you want to watch any of the other readings uh because this is like a collective reading overall so if you do feel totally check out all the all of the piles because it's basically a collective video but i'm just going to cut it up into uh different sections yeah, it's like a, it's like a, I don't know, like, it's like a story, all right? And the chapters are the piles, so pick a chapter, okay? All right, person who reads books, <laughs> I don't know, you might not, it's up to you. Live your life, pile one. Hi, Lucy! Lucy! So Lucy meowed right when I said pile one. So pile one, there's something where it's like a meow, like a call, a cat call, cat call. Interesting. 
The energy of catcalling. Now that is quite interesting to start the reading off. Let me just say that. Lucy, are you around here, buddy? Luce? 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 Hi. Hi. Do you want to come around? Hi. If you want to come around, I'll pick you up. Yeah, come around. Yeah, go around. Yeah, yep. We're going to have a guest on the show. Come here, buddy. Lucy? There you are. <laughs> All right. Come here. I got you. Come here. Hi. Come here, buddy. Come here, Luce. All right. She might wander for a minute. So pile one, pile one. We got your energy coming up. Uh, nice and needy. <laughs> I can't with that. I wonder if it is. Come here. Needy love from like catcalling. Like, it's like, Lucy, what's up, buddy? Man, it's like that, where it's like, Lucy came down, she's like, meow, meow, you know, a lot more loudly, adamantly. And um, then she's now, like, wandering off, because I guess she, like, didn't need me, but it's like she needed me to go somewhere with her. And I'm getting it's probably to give her wet food. <laughs> I care with that. I love that so much. Um, so pile one, the energy you're receiving right off the bat. I'm already reading it as a very like natural feminine way of calling out, if you will, where um, it's from a source of neediness, but it's from something that you're not really sure about. She's back now. Hi, buddy. Come here. Come here. I'll, I'll pick you up. I'll pick you up. Here's my hands. There you go. Put me here. Come here. Come here. Right here, buddy. Right here, buddy. All right, <laughs> we got up here. All right, come here. Oh, also, sorry, Pao Wang, you were, your reading's a little all over the place, but this is a paint by the number paint kit. If anyone's interested, uh, Marshalls has this kind of paint kit. Um, wait, not Marshalls, but I don't know what the heck Marshalls is, but um, I was thinking of Michaels. <laughs> All these names, okay? Jeez. Come here. Man, she does not want to... I don't know what. Okay. Here, I'll create some room for you. There we go. Maybe it's something about Pile 1. This thing of distractions and it's something about, like, wanting to show... Like, the energy you're receiving is, like, this energy that needs you that wants to show you something, wants to show off for you. Come here. And it's like something where it's like, like I feel like what I'm getting is this very prideful energy that isn't used to needing to show you kind of like that they need you, but I'm getting like, it's like that they need you. And I'm getting at something about you accepting that you are needed. And it's something about releasing even the perspective of the love you're receiving as prideful will help in essence of whoever it is that is giving you the love come, become even more personal with you. Two of air, chicory. Yeah, it's like the next step in talking. How can you, when it comes to this love you're receiving, how can you, if you will, deepen it just a little bit more? 
how can you connect just a little bit more when it comes to the more so talking? Because I'm getting that talking is part of this way of love that you're receiving. Carandra of water seaweed. It's very naturally soothing, just like the love you're receiving is soothing, an essence of healing. It could be like your throat chakra. All right, so we have two cards that fell out, and I am kind of getting redirected towards the two of air. So the two with these two cards is related to the two of air. Before I do the two cards, though, I want to make sure with the two of the air. Release long-held beliefs. Be receptive to guidance. Open to unlikely partnerships. Mm, something about the love you're receiving is like a partnership that you haven't had before. You've never experienced before. Maybe you've had before, like in another life, if you're open to that way of thinking about life and everything and death. Um, but nonetheless, this is something that you have, haven't have experienced in this life uh, before. And there's something about, it's like this whole needing to release in order for the connection to evolve, in order for the love to mature. I'm getting that's what's related to the cur Carandra of water. Seaweed. Carando, Carandra of water. Healers. Oh, okay. Cool. Carandra. Carandra. Carandra? Carandra. Okay. Um, okay. So Carandra of water. Don't live in the shallows. Live in the depths, strengthen your bones in the ocean's ebb and flow. Rock gently on the water, heed the siren song. Hmm, okay. So, interesting. Okay, so definitely both of these are going to indicate what it is to let go of, of like believing with this type of love you're receiving. Ooh, what to let go of. <laughs> okay. The moon. Datura. Emotions. Let go of the emotions, everyone. Just let it go. <laughs> Ooh. Ah, uh, interesting. Hmm. That's interesting. In the chariot. That's interesting. Cedar. That's interesting. What's up, Luz? Her ears was like this and then went back like that. She's so annoyed. Lucy, I'm sorry. I love you. Oh my love. What do you need? What do you need, buddy? Come here. Won't you come here? I desire you to be near me. Come here, Lucy. Come here. Come here. Yeah, okay. It's a stubborn love, pile one. You got some stubborn love that you be receiving. That's for sure. And it's like some kind of thing where it's like, you know this... It's like a frustrating, yeah, how would I put it? It's like someone, the love that you're receiving is from someone who's like typically hard and like doesn't really show personal emotion, but underneath you can tell, you can feel that it's like love that's just love of wanting to grow and like now. And, like, desire for you to just be 
Yeah, like for you to just be happy and healthy and full of being you. Face the unknown, enter the luminous darkness. Open your eyes to night blooming magic for the moon. So definitely, so this is part of the releasing. Face the unknown. I'm getting at something about Because I'm getting at something about reaching out to said source that's giving you the love right now, pile one. And it's like you're, there's some hindrance, there's some um, postponement on your end that you, procrastination, that's it. There's some procrastination that you have when it comes to, uh, how would I put it? Mm. Figuring out on their end if they're open to you in the way that you desire to be open with them and like receive some more like more mature love. Okay, and then the chariot. Move forward with confidence. Be disciplined yet flexible in your pursuits. Embody the journey. So releasing, holding back, releasing postponement. Allowing yourself to stay on track day to day of like, it's something about you living your lifestyle a certain way. And I'm getting that it's like this whole thing of the more you can live authentically, the more moving forward with this love it would be, the more mature things would set in because it's like you are maturing um, when you're moving forward in different areas of your life. You're maturing those areas and thus you're going to in turn of like other places in, I don't know, like the other person, for instance, will feel the matureness, like the difference of the love. Because if you're maturing, there's one part of that connection that's maturing. And so the other part of the connection will feel that as well like a butterfly effect, I guess. Nostalgia, focus on the here and now. Staying in the present is going to allow you to understand what this love is in the present. I'm getting that it's something to do with um, easy to feel like you are being dragged in the past. We have tower, unplug and relax for a spell. Number three. It's kind of like I'm getting, uh, letting go of the side of the pool and allowing yourself to kind of float backwards. Phoenix, how's that for a happily ever after? Hmm. What you make of kind of like the unfortunate, uncomfortable, I don't know, like unfortunate events of the past when it comes to the other person, the other source of the love. It's like how you look at that, how you look at them now to remember that what happened in the past, um, 
how would I put it? Thinking in terms of the past with this person, the tone starts to sour, okay, right now. And there's this kind of calling for you to really look at what does it feel like when you receive your happily ever after? And just with love in general. But also thinking about in relation to this love with this specific person, specific source. There's something about how it's like you're, you'll be able to connect to them a lot more with it too. Because it's like the more you... Ma mature with this love the more that you'll understand what you need and what you want this card totally want to popped out uh we have gray endings are inevitable so with this love there's something about having a lot of different parts of your life specifically changing up moving out quitting a job uh going to school dropping out of school uh, marrying divorcing like major life events i'm getting is related to the endings um when it comes to this specifically i'm getting you could look for different symbols with these cards i'm being told to let you know so like nostalgia, focus on the here and now. Anything in your day-to-day -day related to nostalgia is going to be related to the being present. Focusing on the here and now, um, allowing your awareness to feel out your vibe. Like what, what you be bringing to the table in the present moment. Um, is it really something beneficial for you or is it something you can release? <clears throat> we have also with the Phoenix, right? So anything in relation to Phoenix um, is going to be in relation to the perspective, the tone, the vibe of the happily ever after. Allowing yourself to truly embrace and embody that like Delulu imaginative this is what happily ever after would feel like for me. And then it's something about doing it in the present moment with like, I don't know, like skipping or like doing a little dance or something where it's like moving your body and also feeling out this happily ever after is like really helping you align with that in the present moment. And it's like super useful in the future so you can like remember and you're muscles remember it it's like that muscle memory really cool fact of like human beings anyway um and then the tower unplug and relax for a spell anything in relation to tower if you ever see it in your day-to-day -day, it's related to just taking a break um and this is like your spirit team sending you messages through these different like random words um, and you're like the divine, those on the other side of after living, um, those on the other side are like sending you messages of like this kind of love and you kind of balancing out in the now through the different random things that pop up with like if you see a tower in a TV show. I don't know. You know what I mean? Okay. We have gray also. So... The word gray, the color gray, mm -hmm. 50 shades of gray. <laughs> I can't with that. I'm so, let me tell you, like books, that <laughs> you know what I mean? I kind of read them, but like I got into some other stuff that mm, there's some other books. You know what I mean? Let me tell you, book talk. I really, I, I've never really been on book talk, but anyway that's your reading power one thank you for joining me if you want to check out the other readings totally check them out you don't have to but that is what is that so i hope you enjoyed it i hope it helped you with figuring out that love you be receiving what the heck is up 
um yeah focus on maturing out maturing out yeah like honestly on the daily the more that you tune into this kind of love and kind of realizing how is it beneficial for you in the moment and then also realizing that um, if it is not beneficial for you to forgive it and allow yourself to release it in the now with the past in the future of yourselves untying it from you in the now this will allow you to understand what else to do with this kind of love connection if you do want to continue it in the way of like a special connection other than that it could be like a platonic connection where this person could be like a mentor for you or a person that could show you love in a way where you didn't know you needed more platonic love than intimate love right now so that's what that's about Pawan. thank you so much for joining me i'll see you in another video or another pile whatever coming at you coming to you hot anyway hey pal to you welcome man i sh i felt a shift in your energy and then the other energy who boy so welcome you got the green sparkly pen yeah nature green definitely is a specific there is a reason why i picked this green pen i don't know why but we'll see why we'll see why in time Hmm, that might also be with the love that you're receiving. Also, I'm getting a major, major, like, crown chakra opening or something. So, tapped in and tuned up, I guess. Ooh, I know the, okay. I'm already like, ooh, I know this card. Huh, okay, so there's something about the love you're receiving right now, pile two where it's like something where you're like oh i know this card but then you're like wait a minute do i really know this card um because there's something of you you've seen some other similar love like this before from the same person but it's like this love is like you learn that this love is not exactly how you perceive it as um like love it's more so i'm getting like you perceive this person and perceive love in a way, and then they perceive you in love in a way, if that makes sense. So it's kind of like you're looking at the same thing, but you're also looking at it in a way where it's not like, yeah, like where it's not exactly the way that you're looking at it. Interesting. So we have flower, be honest with yourself. We have number 17. And I just want to say these are all upside down besides the ones that came out. <laughs> so the pile of cards was upside down. The cards that were like flipped were right side up. We're going to keep that in mind. I don't know why, but whatever. Evil queen, you deserve sugar, not salt. Number two pile two number two yeah it's so interesting that all the cards are like they're like this and that's like they're like upside down and these two cards that i pulled were like this so it's like interesting huh i don't know it's really cool i love your reading it is really coming together in like a really confusing way and i like it let's confusify ourselves huh <laughs> all right and then we have four cards that are laid down we have justice is coming which 27 we have mourning the world awaits you number 40 that's nice Cool, love that. Windows open under the sea. Love. <laughs> I love it, honestly. Um, and then we have 36. You don't need someone else to fix you. Hmm. Like this love I'm already receiving is like love where it's like 
trying to fix who you are as a person. And it's kind of like interesting because it's like, why in the first place do they feel like they need, like their love is going to fix you? Like you're broken, you're not. <laughs> like what? <laughs> I'm sorry, but whoever's sending you this love needs a reality check, okay? Like I will literally write a check for them and just stamp reality on it because come on, like, Bring me their forehead and just let me reality stamp their freaking forehead because, geez, I'm already receiving, like, this love is, like, no, this person does not. It's, like, something where it's, like, they need help from you. They're, like, I'm going to be able to fix you with my love. And in reality, they need you to fix them with your love. Ugh, come on. Spaceship, don't be afraid to sing. Also. Uh, number 43. Hmm. Speaking up and speaking out. Yeah, this love is definitely a love where... It's more so you... It's like a test for you to stick to your guns about your life like you're like this is how I'm living my life and I'm getting that this love that you're receiving from whoever it's like the more that they see you doing you living life and loving living life it's more that they're gonna see that they need you to show them how did you get to where you are? I'm going to reach over you for a second, but I'll still speak to you. This might be rude, but I'm so sorry if it's rude. Um, how it is that you are loving yourself, living life. Like how, you, there it is. Okay. How you love living life the way that you live life. Because it is from an authentic, uh, it's like they see you in a very, uh, like they see you living life very authentically and it's like impressing them but it's also I'm getting that where the fixing area is coming from is worry that it's like love of worry where it's like they don't trust or they don't see like the how would I put it they don't see the path that you're on as a path itself you know though that you living your life the way that you need to live it and it's like you listening to yourself it's a very authentic like an entrepreneur kind of lifestyle you know that this is something for you and it's something where other people who aren't you aren't really able to see this and this is someone who isn't able to really see the path that you're on yet but there's something about how your path is maturing as you continue to dedicate more living authentically uh, day to day and being able to like create as authentically, express yourself as authentically as you can in the moments that you have during your day. I'm getting is something that's really going to allow this person uh, when they're around you to see how balanced you really are from within and this will allow them to feel more courageous in connecting with you in a more I'm getting like like warm way because this connection this love is like it's like from someone who's been through like an ice age involving their own kind of heartbreak I like to imagine like heartbreak is you're going through some kind of ice age and it's kind of you needing to rewarm up your heart um, like you're a little furnace. Oh my gosh, y'all. On a cold day, a furnace keeps it hot. Mm. <laughs> Give me that. All right. Uh, so we have, I release time and let the universe show me what to do. Allowing yourself to realize that in the now is 
all the time that you need. Like if you're like, yeah, there's like this waiting, waiting, waiting. And it's something about in the now is, uh, yeah, yeah. In the now is when to focus in terms of matter and related to the present moment. Is it, is this matter with this person and this love related to the present moment matter? Or is it related to the past matter in any part of the past or maybe even the future? I'm getting though that there's a lot of focus on the past and the present, but a lot more so your perspective of yourself with this person and this love is related to the past. A lot of your past kind of performances of interactions. And it's something about allowing yourself to release that past embodiment and embodiments that you had. And allowing yourself to uh, reinstate your embodiment in the present moment in a way that feels like authentically... This is how you want to feel in this moment. And it's something about really feeling that matureness of uh, releasing and forgiving the past kind of perspective of who you are. Because you are at a different age. You are at a different kind of experience level with life. You know, the more, the older you get, the more experiences that you make in terms of day to day. And it's just because like you live longer, like you have more days that you've completed. And so this is you being able to kind of catch up in parts of yourself and also let go. And I'm kidding. It's really cool because it's also reviving your child like self as well. Wanting more for others puts me into an energy of abundance. So something about when it is that you meet up with this person in your mind and uh, when it comes to the love to focus on even if they be sending like some shifty vibes your way you know people do that you know people I do that like come on now <laughs> but there's something about allowing yourself to forgive no matter what when it comes to this person this love to allow the connection to be released I'm getting like at the end of the day um, and allow yourself to kind of have like a renewal in the connection if you will a renewal in like this kind of string um, I always think of like when it comes to relationships when it comes to connections exchanging of energies with someone where it's like daily and it's like repetitive you form a string like a energy string and there's something about how uh this string can get really i'm getting like tied up in the present moment due to i'm getting both parties or all parties feeling more so this energy of like kind of sabotaging the self in the present moment because in the past that hasn't gone the way that you really wanted it to with this person the love that you received it's been more so life lessons like you have to correct your behavior you need to understand where you're coming at um, when it comes to the exchanges with this person because I'm getting it kind of wasn't like the healthiest of exchanges but there's this separation right now where it's like that's what the ice is all about the ice age and it's something about the connection like you being able to separate let go of the connection and trusting that it still will be there um like that other person will be there, the love will be there, the connection will be there. But this connection is, it's like kind of like uh, when you get a trim, like a haircut. And it's like you're just cutting away the dead ends. And this will help the hair grow a lot fuller, healthier, um, kind of just refresh, refreshing the connection. I'm in awe of the magnificent, gui magnificent guidance that is available to me 
when it is that you release, when it is that you allow yourself to release the connection in the moment, later on after the connection happens, well, more so interaction with the connection, uh, when you receive the love, basically, there's something of allowing yourself to forgive it, release it, and it's something about you'll be able to get guidance from the space where you released this love of the person, if you will. Um, kind of like in your closet, for instance, if you have a lot of clothes, like honestly, same closet clean out, right? You got to go through the outfits, the fits that just don't fit anymore. Um, it's like not fitting with where you're at now. That's what's happening when it comes to you releasing this connection and then trusting that there is some sort of importance to this though when it comes to your authentic self um, because this will really show you also when it comes to I'm getting love that you are giving also to this person um, in terms of it the love that you receive from this person, like how it is that it kind of affects your life, it improves it, it hinders it, whatever it is, right? There's something where you can learn from it in terms of love that you receive outside of you, how to handle it within you in whatever moment you want to choose to handle it and allow it to be released. And you're going to like understand... Um, I'm getting something about you being a lot further in where you want to be than you thought you would be. Like it's like some kind of board game and you're jumping like 20 spaces ahead of everyone else. And it's something about you choosing to release when you do allows that space to be there. Okay. So that is your pile, pile two. I hope you enjoyed it. That was a good reading. If you want to check out the other piles, totally tap in, tune up, check them out. There's other collective videos that are out there for you. And yeah, thank you so much for joining me. I will see you in another video. Bye. Bye bye. Hello, pile three. Hello, hello. I am getting pile two's cards picked up. This is yours, your item. Boop, boop, boop. I'm also going to be switching the music uh, on the TV. So that is kind of also what I'm going to be doing. So we're going to be talking about the love that you be receiving from like this outside source. And it's like, let's tap in, tune up, see what you need in essence of it. I'm going to do... Okay. Ooh, I love commercials on YouTube. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Interesting. I'm getting that this has to do with some kind of the love you be receiving has to do in relation with some future financial wishes and desires being met. It's something about how you handle this love is really going to show in the future where it is that you have really expanded um, from like now, I'm getting. I don't really know, but like, let's see, let's see. Okay. Love you, you receiving. Yeah, it's something about you learning it from some kind of inspirational source, like a mentor. And it's like the way that they really handled their finances, I'm getting. The love that they have for their finances is really, really showing you how to have a very, very... How would I put it? Like, you're treating yourself two things that you desire mm -hmm. and like big money kind of purchases interesting okay interesting
Oh, yeah. Okay, so we have Albatross, Faith, Endurance, Journey, and Hope. So the Love You Be Receiving Pile 3 is also challenging. <laughs> like, it's also a very much so... <coughs> Let that burp be the signifier of challenge. Like, yeah, you're the student in this, all right? And there's something about, like, you got some pride on you, pal three, and you, like, don't like to listen to people, and you're like, I know better than you. But I'm getting that this love is more so a mentor loving their mentee, and it's from a place where it's like they know... Their experiences with finances and how they really built themselves to the point and like the love that they have for their finances is showing you how to have like strong boundaries with yourself I'm getting when it comes to the whole making finances like in your the source like there's not really family in essence of this financial kind of gain. Like this is just from you and the value and the time and energy and effort that you put in, in terms of making the finances become like in the physical, like in your bank account, in your hands, you know, getting yourself like taking a bath with all this cash. Yes, please. Uh, but there's something about this love is showing you and introducing you to being a bit more like, I'm getting like right now being focused on having that more so kind of four foundational habits. I don't know why I'm bringing this up. I don't know what the heck this is, but let's just hear it out. It's like four foundational habits that you can do on the daily that gets your perspective of yourself set as like a billionaire, as like someone who rocks in, rakes in the money. And it's like on the daily and it's from the confidence that you would create from this. It's from the assertion the like you're very much so adamant you're very much so a go-getter with this it brings out this like enthusiasm and it's like this desire to learn basically and I'm getting it's from this it's like the desire to learn is what I'm being emphasized greatly on and it's something about how it's focusing on treating yourself in knowing that uh, spending a lot of money like all at once is not something that you are used to. Um, I'm getting like when you grew up and when you kind of were like raising yourself or other people raising you from childhood, there's something about how you had to be really frugal with money and there's something about how this person is showing you how to treat yourself and kind of more like larger money purchases and it's something where it's kind of like this is another way to spend your money I'm getting and I'm getting it's from this part of like a matureness from past experiences that maybe didn't go so well, like life lessons learned that they did. And it's something of it would be really relatable to you in the present and maybe in the future. I'm getting. And it's like this person has a really great way to save you a lot of time and energy of grief from... um yeah, I don't know why, but like from financial uh, mistakes I'm getting. Like this person is something about the love that they have for money, for finances, for value is really important for you to be aware of and be open to. 
So I don't know if this is really romantic love, but this is more so love of stability, of need, because really like finances, you can definitely live a lot more comfortably when you do have finances. Um, there's a lot more of the comfortability with change as well. Like I'm just kind of giving, getting in my mind like a moving company or just hiring someone to move your stuff compared to you moving your stuff. Kind of something like that where you would have to spend however much to hire. Uh, but you would also be saving yourself a lot of the kind of heavy lifting that the moving does take. So... We have orange, bellied, parrot, radiance, expression, communication, and acceleration. Let's see. Interesting. Hmm. Yeah, it's something to do with the communication. There's something I need to bring up with the communication. It's like kind of... Oh, okay. So it's kind of perceived in two different ways. You're perceiving the communication in one way. And then the other source of the communication connection is perceiving it in another way. We have crayfish protection, perseverance, vulnerability, regeneration. Hmm. It's something about allowing yourself to release when it comes to the influence of what is communicated between and how you decide to move forward with your life changing your plan and essence of what is said from the other party okay so it's kind of like mm, kind of listening or i'm getting something about observing what they say taking it in you're like okay thank you so much i appreciate it and then listening to yourself allowing yourself to step away kind of cut cords with whoever it is, cut energetic cords. And it's like doing it intentionally in the moment, in the past, in the future, untying and binding you from them in the now. They are released from you now. All right. And now you're transmuted with meta in the places that they were in. They're free. You're free from them. They are free from you. And they're transmuted with meta as well. And there's something about how this will allow you to see how it is that what they perceive in essence of whatever it is you were talking about, exchanging about, it's coming up in terms of the love that you have for your own value, for your own finances, for your own, yeah, like prosperity and abundance. It's something about you're missing some parts of your own prosperity and abundance that you can tap in and tune into that come up when it comes to these different exchanges, uh, these different connect, like, yeah, exchanges with this connection. Um, yeah. Okay. And then we have crow communication, transformation, story, universal law, the way that you really perceive others, the way that you're perceiving this other person in essence of how they look on the outside, the facts that you know about them on the outside. It's something about allowing yourself, if you can, to forgive the judgments that you have over them and allow yourself to thus reinstate who they are in the now, who you know them to be in the now. And this I'm getting is allowing you to really release I'm getting resentment judgments that would hinder both of you um, and it's from your perspective and there's something about your perspective absolutely matters but it's perspective for yourself when it comes to your perspective of this person 
it's your learning lessons the way that you view them. Uh, your learning lessons of who you are, your shadow attributes that come out in the light of the day. Um, so these exchanges might be a little bit more frustrating in terms of like talking about this stuff, but there's something about how there's a lot of value that is underneath the frustrations of the, the conversations, the communication. We have wild horse, freedom, sensitivity, spirit, partnership. This is going to allow you to also be able to connect to spirit, to connect to, um, yeah, that kind of freedom that comes after you forgive whatever it is that it is. Um, forgive the connection, forgive kind of like I'm getting some kind of serious tone that you thought this connection was for you and I'm getting like the seriousness is because it's like previously you perceived this connection to be something a lot more mm, I don't want to say important but it's like a lot more intimate than where it's at now and so now you can take this connection this um love and now you can allow yourself to release whatever it is that is holding you back emotionally um, and allow yourself to forgive whatever it is uh, so that in those emotional parts i'm getting it's like going to be able to one heal right with love and meta in the now um, and it's also going to allow yourself to see yourself kind of i don't know like taking over your life in places that you really want to uh when it comes to you reinstating like as a mentee where the mentor gave you a lot of like i don't know like a lot of notes that you took from i guess basically so that is your story pile three that's your story that is your uh that's your pile, pile three, and your story, I guess. So, yeah, there might be something about endings that need to happen. And, yeah, life is just, that's, yeah. It, it might be a little bit like, mm, but with this kind of love, it's kind of like something where you realize that you can give it to yourself, right? And... When you give this kind of love to yourself with this connection, because it still can be there, but it's something about if you allow yourself to give yourself love and this person doesn't give you the love that kind of they are giving you, I'm getting like your value in the moment will go up a lot more because you're like taking care of I don't know, like you're taking care of loving yourself, I'm getting. And it's like you're not needing to rely on another outside source to love you in a way where you feel better, you feel like you're loving yourself, or you feel that love for yourself, that love, yeah, for yourself. So yeah, anyway, so that's your pile. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you another video, another pile if you want. Moving on to pile four. And then I'm ending the video. Oh, yeah. Okay. Bye. All right. Pile two. Pile. Well, if you want pile four, check out pile two. Pile four. We got alcohol prep pads. <laughs> okay. So there is something I am getting about this love you're receiving. Pile four is a love that is from people who are a bit more mature in life where they've had experiences of the love that your, if you want to, pile two is and related to pile four, okay? Because this love is showing you something to do with the love, the like, how would I put it? As the love you receive in pile two matures, the love that you receive in pile four <laughs> is very similar to the matured pile two love. Okay. 
My crown chakra is like going off. Okay. We have feeling good will bring me far more than whatever I thought I needed. In the moment, allowing yourself to break free with this love that you're receiving power for. Break free from it. Forgive whatever is like uncomfortable. You're like, okay, no, no, no. You're like feeling this love. You're like, I'm not about it. It's something about allowing yourself to take over the love, to take over the feeling of this love, to literally like imagine it. It's like now in your hands, like a ball, a pink ball, right? And now you're like in your imagination. You're like, okay, past self, untie this pink ball and the strings that it's like tied around me, untie it. Okay, thank you. And then you're like future self. Okay, untie the pink strings that is tying this ball to me in the future. Okay, so then now they're both released in the now. So now you like toss this like uncomfortable feeling of love you're receiving in the now out away from you and now you're free of it, okay? And there's something about how the more that you do this sort of action because this love I'm getting is more so uncomfortable because it's unfamiliar and it's understandable because it's mature. Like this is a mature love where it's like from someone who's gone through mature, I don't know, actions when it comes to live, uh, who's had a lot of years living life, a lot of different interactions. I don't know. I'm not going into their story, you know what I mean? But I'm getting that this love is really allowing you to see in the future what the embodiment, what the feeling, what the vibe would be of pile two and the love they give to pile two, right? So check it out. And it's like this matured years later kind of vibe which is interesting so i'm getting like when it comes to the people that pile four is giving you the energy of love kind of check out their personality yeah check them out like see kind of the vibe that they in authenticness give out mm. I'm getting specifically check them out when it comes to chaotic moments and interactions that you have because it's like at the very bottom of these interactions there is love like it's something that you really need to know in relation to love um, but yeah so it's not really a intimate kind of love this is just a love where it's like to observe learn from and kind of allows you to shape the future in a better way because this is something where it's like yeah in the future it's something where you're allowing yourself to handle what is frustrating you that would pop up later on if pile two resonates with you i'm going to emphasize that throughout this reading Okay, pile four, because it really is like, they seem to be going hand in hand. <laughs> uh, we have, when I merge my desire with faith, I can take action from a place of peace rather than control. This love that you're receiving is very much so controlling because of, yeah, like because of the experienced living life longer than you have sort of mentality and I'm getting it's something about when you release the feeling of uncomfortability when you forgive it in the now with the help and support of the past and the future and tying those like energetic cords this is something where you can free up that space of uncomfortability it's out of there the train has left the subway I'm I'm from a place where we just have cars. Well, we do have a train, but it's like a Amtrak kind of place. Man, la place is like New York City, Europe. Oh my lord! Interesting. Well, I started your pile. I haven't really talked about any other places in the world, 
And for some reason, I'm talking about places around the world. So it might be in relation to this kind of love that you are dealing with, that you are receiving, is showing you also something to do with places in the world, something to do with you feeling at place in the world. I wonder if it's in relation to the love you're receiving from whoever is like kind of love that you have in the future like your future self would be holding this kind of love and something about being mindful of the frustrating moments that you have with these individuals when you get older when you get to an age lay that's not really stable <laughs> i'm about to watch a cat collapse She's curious, though, so I can't really, you know, it's kind of like that, where it's just like, you know that something will topple over, but you can't really help them out, because one, I, I like, would have to get out from my place, two, Leia's a cat, so she can, like, land on her feet, and three, oh, she kind of moved whatever anyway there's something about this though where it's like going to really help you in terms of like extra credit I guess for I'm getting like you in the future yeah like how you handle love related to younger individuals in the future and it's like the the la, 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 la allowing yourself when you forgive yourself of these frustrating moments with whoever it is allowing yourself to also like ask to receive clarity ask to receive like why was this so frustrating with someone um yeah because there's something about i'm getting more so this is related to you and it's like, okay, these people that is giving you this love, that, like, yeah, gifts you this love. I'm getting it's something to do with their jobs. I don't know why, but the jobs that they hold, the positions of power that they hold in your life right now. Um, however it is, is significant in essence of in your future whatever it is in terms of the position of power that they hold in whatever way I'm getting that's very close to you in the future where it's like you're holding these very similar positions of power and you're presenting love thus to someone more youthful who hasn't gone through many experiences it's something about asking yourself later on like how would my younger self want to receive love i guess in the way of like yeah in the way of like just wanting to like a teacher's love for a student wanting to watch someone younger grow uh yeah, grow and like support themselves because I'm getting like it's like this love is like supporting you authentically in your authentic journey. It's also a really kind of harsh truth of love. Where it's like reminders to not really get sidetracked when you are in a privileged seat of power in whatever kind of organization um, to remember that. There's something about always being mindful of forgiving in the moment, always being mindful of, especially when you're like in a position of power and you're frustrated and then you talk to other people who are like subordinates or whatever, where they like look up to you, they have to listen to you, the tone of your voice, the tone of your vibe. The tone of love that you give out is also what they receive as well. And this is something where it's like, if you're able to forgive the frustration in the moment with 
people now that you're interacting with more and more in the future, you'll be able to forgive so that when you give to other people who are younger than you, you're going to be able to give from a place of um, like kindness and understanding because that frustration is released. It might come up, yes, but it's something where you've gone through enough practices of releasing, of forgiving, that you kind of just do it in the spur of the moment. And it's like you just inhale and exhale and there's something about how this will really allow you to have a lot more of, of a calm vibe when it comes to wanting to share kind of your, I don't know, life experiences and expertise, if you will. When it comes to, yeah, when it comes to that like expertise in relation to your position of power in the future, in relation to the people giving you the love now, what their position of power is to you now. Okay. We have Seven of Fire, Cinnamon, and then we have Mod Madre of Fire, Time, as well. Okay. Seven of Fire. Answer the call of the ancients. Seek visions from the ancestors. Take a stand for your whole authentic self. And then let me look up the Madre of Fire. Mama, my mother, <laughs> my mother, uh, turn up the heat on your creative passions. A warm heart in a spicy kitchen welcomes others to your table. Stro <laughs> Stoke the creative fire that burns in your belly. So. I wonder if it is to create something from this, but in relation to almost like honoring your ancestors and it's like you treating yourself now and like it's like you treating yourself is you doing whatever kind of creative projects that you want to do. It's like what you do with the frustration if you choose creating from it and creating from it from it in a way where you're honoring your ancestors as well like some passed down traits that you really have and it's like hidden within your really authentic i don't know embodiment kind of like almost forgotten almost i wonder if like these these heads of power if you will is related to kind of like being blocked from this whole like creative expression in relation to uh, your ancestors, in relation to the world, in relation to like reinstating your, your authentic embodiment. And this is also reinstating your ancestors embodiments as well authentic embodiments the more you stay true to you the more you stay true to your ancestors um because that connection that communication is really really easier to have happen the more authentic you can be when it comes to choosing how to communicate choosing how to be open and maybe even just saying like, hey, today is not a great day, like being kind of just honest also with where you're at with like, you're like kind of like, no, I'm not really feeling the best when maybe usually you would. There's something about that, like tapping in and tuning into that whole breaking pattern of fibbing about how you really are and just kind of laying it out. We have nine of earth apple. And then we have the Hanged One Burdock as well. Savor the fruit of paradise, peace and plenty. Celebrate wealth by giving. The hidden star of hope sustains us. 
So yeah, there might be some things in relation to being a bit more honest. And it might be it might be with yourself I'm getting when it comes to uh how would I put this? When it comes to your perceived misconception of this love that you're receiving from whoever else it is that you're receiving from, the outside source. Um, it's something about it is for your benefit, but you didn't realize how bitter and resenting you felt from like the love that you re received recently. And there's something about that whole being called to change your perspective of the matter at hand and seeing how you can forgive it, how you can let it go, cut the cords. I mean, with the hanged one, it's like cutting the noose from your neck, allowing yourself, I mean, it, you know, that would totally allow you to speak your truth like a mofo. <laughs> like you're like, okay, even this, even if this will hurt whoever I am going to be speaking this to, this love is for your benefit, for a better, brighter, stronger, connected, safer connection with the self or something like that. You know what I mean? Because it really is like this connection is more so really suffocating, like not the best with your throat chakra. Okay. <laughs> and it's not that it will always be suffocating. It's you choosing in the moment to release. You don't even need to interact with whoever it is, but you just choosing to release it from your embodiment is going to allow that connection to separate. Embrace a foe as a friend. Tap into nourishment found in the depths. Let go of control. Lasting, t lasting change takes time. So lasting change takes time, okay? So this is something where this love that you're receiving is for the long run in essence of you and your life. It's not going to be who, whatever source it is that you're receiving the love from. It's going to be like, how would I put it? There's a position, right, of whatever that sends you this type of love. And it's like you're going to have different people in this position throughout your life. And it's something about how you handle love from this type of position where it's like you see this person as a really frustrating person to just like interact with, but there's still benefit to this interaction. There's still benefit to whatever it is that you're receiving right now it might be aggravating irritating in the future though it is preparing you I'm getting for other future frustrations that are very similar to this and it's like you're able to take it kind of yeah take it like an expert themselves like you are your own kind of leader if you will you got to understand from like hurting yourself from going through pain, from going through this frustration and forgiving it and kind of seeing where it is that you need to understand when it comes to like where in your life, kind of the love that the source pile four has given you. And I'm getting at something about you're also going to be able to focus a lot on caring for yourself even more so because they're like showing you places where you can really strengthen the connection with yourself and it's like this very cool experience of you listening to yourself in a way of guiding yourself through it even in the moment of frustrating kind of interactions with whoever it is um because the really key thing is how you see whoever it is, how much control they have in the connection. It can be cut the minute that you start to focus on you in the now, on your embodiment in the now. No other person can control your embodiment the way that you can, okay?
all right? Let me just say that. You are in control of your embodiment. There might be other people trying to shove you out of the fucking seat of your own driver's seat, of your own vehicle, of your own embodiment. But the power of the mind, all right? Allowing yourself to say to yourself, self, this energy I feel right now trying to take control of my own embodiment is put in a bubble of divine love in the past and in the future. It's untying, it's unbinding from me in the now and I am forgiving, I am releasing this in the now, transmuting it with meta. It is free of me and I am free of it in the now. And that's it. And that's the kind of process of reinstating your own power, your own embodiment once again, because no other person has the control of your own embodiment the way you do. And you know yourself best, okay? You can feel out the vibe, all right? And also think about like, they might not be, they might not be able to feel out their own vibe, okay? They can send it, but can they kind of like detect what they be receiving themselves? Who knows, right? The whole point though is if you're detecting this kind of love trying to control you, right? There's something about the love of yourself, is far more powerful than whatever kind of love whoever is trying to give to you, all right, at the end of the day. And there's something about how it's really allowing you to see also emotional boundaries, areas where you can really reinstate to yourself, reaffirm different types of affirmations, beliefs that help you see yourself in these different circumstances, kind of like mantras to remind you and re-empower yourself in the minute in the moment um so yeah so that's your pile pile four thank you so much for joining me i really appreciate your presence in this video if you want to see any of the other piles if you feel called to it by all means check it out all right um yeah and if you feel called to check out any of the other collective videos Feel free and check those out. I'm going to go. I'm going to decompress and let go myself. And yeah, probably drink some water. Probably eat a meal or something like that. Who knows? What, what you about after this reading, pile four? Let me know. All right. I'll see you later. Thanks for stopping on by. Bye.